today on this next Double October review, we're going to be taking a look at the counterpart to the one we looked at last time, and it is the Gundium Gundium Gundam Exia Repair 2 SD from the Beauty Cinchy line. And yeah, I mean, hinted at it. Now, I will say I was lucky to find this one. Obviously, there's a little bit of box damage happening right here. I think it got stuck to something because I picked it up. It felt funny. So, but, uh, Anyways, so I got lucky that I found this one when I did. And I was like, yep, I'm getting that because I have the O Gundam. And yeah, before we get too far, they did the thing. So even though two completely different dimensions of box, they did the thing. Hold on, I want to get a, see if I can get a picture. There we go. So once again, of course, it does imitate the HG box. By the way, just... <laughs> I forgot that I basically used the Exia R2 to make the Grand Page last year. I was sitting here looking for it. I'm like, why can't I find my HG Exia? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I used that for a thing. Although I think technically most of that went to Rodimus. I can't remember how that swap went. Either way, so very nice image of the Exia there. I like this logo. Model number gn oo R. O O one R E two pilots. It's an F C E armament. G N sword. G N beam saber. G N Vulcan. No, mind you, that's a different G N sword, but it is what it is. O nine. It is what it is. Hey, look, red label. Come to the bottom, and you've got all kinds of stuff there. You know, sets in a. It's pointing out things. I don't know. I guess it's pointing out the upgrades, technically speaking. And you got. Hey, look, the G N drive can do things, and you turn that. Hey, look, that does things there. Oh, look, stuff and things. And then, whatever the heck that's supposed to be. I, I don't know. It's it's just a thing that it does. And then, all of this stuff over yonder. And we come around to this side. We got Gundam X. Gundam XEA Repair 2. Number 334. Three, so, of course, it's right after the other one in the line. That's funny. And then you've got Repair 2. But with zero stickers or anything on it. I don't know what's going on there. Actually, no, that is what it done. That's just how it looks out of the box. By the way, we're going to talk about it. Um, this kit is definitely flawed. And you got warnings here. Keep it out of three-year-old's eyes. Kind of stuff like that. PSPE, little go toilet, 800 yen. I paid more than that, but it is what it is. New Tiny Axia, still upside down. I need to find parts that went to the last one because I cannot figure out for the life of me where they went. And I have no idea where that box even would be. So I probably won't find those. So that sucks. But let's get to it anyways. All right, guys. You can already tell something ain't right, right? So basically, this is the Exia you can basically get out of the box. They don't even give you all of the stickers that normally would come with it. And full disclosure, Miss Shoki built this one while I was doing other things. Now, the reason I say that, this is mostly the new, new Exia R2 that I picked up. So this has the stickers put in there. This has all this kind of stuff like that. But you can see no detail work, totally lacking paint and stickers and everything else like that. But if you come to the back, you can see that this is all original Exia shoulders, GN drive, back skirt, all that stuff. And there's not even a sticker on the back of the head. The reason I did all that was so we can see the difference. Because there is the Exia that I built last year with the new add-on parts. So essentially what this becomes is an add-on parts set for this um, and the only real difference that's visible the original blue here is lighter than the blue on there and that little guy right there is a problem so okay so here's one upgrade we'll just shove this crap out of the way so that is the new beam saver for the hips so if you kind of tuck it right in there I definitely suggest gluing that because you'll knock it off very easy the way I did also, totally painted that. There's a lot of paint on this guy, but for the most part, the body didn't change. It's just swapping out certain uh, parts for things. So for the most part, this Exia is exactly the same one that I built last year. I don't mean the same kit. They're, it's the same build. 
you know, the shield came with this. You can see I did all the white paint, gray paint, and all that stuff like that. But new stuff for this one. His elbows don't move, right? <laughs> he does get the new blade for the GN sword. And I painted that with the same green paint that I used on Devastator. I think it's okay. I think I might have been better served to match it to that green paint. And if you come to the back skirt, he does come with that new uh, butt skirt that this R2 does have. I forgot to paint the gray in there. And you can see this red is kind of metallic looking. That's because I used the wrong paint on that. Uh, it's actually a clear red, but I painted it over gold, and I should have painted it over white. That was stupid on my part. I mean, it looks fine. It's just not what it's supposed to be. You do get a new back section here for the R2. All this is opened up. I guess technically I can show that as comparison. So, original butt skirt, original GN drive. So, that's that. And you can see, once again, there's no thing here. His head is super bobbly for some reason, too. Um... So yeah, I mean, with the original Exia, I mean, the show, I forgot about the shoulders, so the shoulders are lacking the beam savers on the back. So that's the main differences between this and the original Exia SD. Also, I totally didn't realize you can plug that into the form. So the Giant Sword looks good. And now I'm going to pull the shield off because I didn't realize it was part of a thing. So the other thing this guy comes with, <clears throat> something to do with all your spare parts. So everything that you take off of the standard Exia goes into this new flyer thing. Yeah, what the heck? So look, you can see the butt skirt here. Now, mind you, this is, this was the butt skirt that was on this one. And then I painted the red. You can see I painted it at the same time. It's got that metallic flavor to it. This is the uh, original shoulders off of that Exia. And I ended up painting or masking and painting the uh, beam saber here that wasn't originally painted. This is interesting because these just like tuck in there. So that's kind of cool. I dig that. And then the butt skirt thing just plugs in right here. And even the original GN sword blade that I spent all that time masking and everything plugs in there. And so does the GN drive. Plugs in up under there. And if you have his other uh, <clears throat> GN saber or swords, the smaller ones that go on the hips usually, they will plug in right here. Unfortunately, I can't find mine. I don't know exactly where they are. They're probably buried in a box in the closet. But one thing I didn't realize is you can take the shield and plug it on right there and really kind of complete the look. Look at this. This is neat. And a lot of things are showing him like standing on it to ride out on, which is pretty cool. Call it, call it the Exia Rider or something like that. I have no idea. It looks better if you, I guess, you take that off. That's pretty cool. And then. <clears throat> You can also, oh yeah, look, and there's a stand peg right there, neat. Okay, you can plug this onto his forearm to be one gigantic weapon slash shield. So you know how they like to do excess stuff every now and then. This is where those extra swords would look really neat there. So look at that, you got the beam sabers coming off the back. Imagine this is really what they did, they're like, hey, we know you might actually need these things, even though we took them off of your Gundam, so we're just going to give them back to you, but in this really strange manner. So, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's weird, but it's cool. I need to find the swords. Like, I know I fully painted those swords, and I just don't know where they are. Like I said, they're in a box somewhere. So, let's set that aside, and we will bring in our guy from last time. So, we got... Our two dueling warriors. So the O Gundam versus the Exia. The showdown that was always meant to be because their GN drives are the only ones that could sync to make the double O Gundam work. Yeah, it's really the way it works, so just blah. It's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um yeah. Uh out of these two, this is a better kit. You know, this requires way too much in comparison. Um and considering they're in the same line and only one number apart, there's a significant difference in these kits. Like the feet, for instance, that don't quite... They don't quite feet. I do wish they... They haven't done an Exia SD CS, have they? Oh, if they do, I'm on that. They've done Barbatos and they haven't done Exia. So, either way, 
that digs it. This has been a cool two pack, you know. The fact that I did this one last year, and then when I found the new, the R2, so to speak, look, look how crap that looks with nothing on it. Um, I think it's pretty neat that this year I found the O Gundam. And, you know, they had them, you know, the, the box had them both on stands, which would be cool. Does, this, does his feet actually, like, peg in or anything, or they just sit there? Like, effectively, like, you can just sort of space them properly. It would be neat if they actually could capture in place so they're not going to fall off. Or just fell off. Oh, the same thing. Do I have a stand available? I thought I did. Dang it. That's it right. So, you got Exia, like, coming after... Coming after O Gundam. That's pretty neat. I like that. I like that a lot. I guess we can put the shield back on. That was a lot of masking, by the way. Get that shield good. But guys, that's it. Like, let me know what you think. Do you think it's worth getting one of these, knowing that you have to put in so much work? Now, mind you, I did most of the paintwork to this guy last year when there were stickers to use. This one does not come with the same stickers that that one does. I don't even understand why. But I love the idea that they give you part storage, you know, for everything that's coming off and give you a cool side project in the same in the same vein. I will still recommend that you definitely, definitely glue those on if you're going to leave them on this thing because they're so going to fall off. So just remember, if you want it to look like this, you're going to have to do a whole lot of painting. If you're down with that, by all means. Comparatively, I like the O Gundam better just because it's more fun. But overall, they're cool together. And there's not much more I can say than that. So, guys, give me a big old thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. Have you built one of these? Oops, hey, hey. That's one problem that's super top heavy. Have you built one of these and know the pain? Or, you know, do you have a better idea of what to do with uh, painting it and stuff? And of course, check out the merch. Check out everything else. Go watch the old playlist if you haven't. You know, because there's like four years worth before. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time. Remember, as always, keep on building.